this uh, this TV is whacked. see it. it was under my foot oh what was that bad enough the dogs chewed up my last remote batteries are in right let's try that again yeah, it's just not working I'm not hitting it hard enough. It's just not responding. Let me see. Can't see. The glasses are filthy. change the channel. I feel like I'm being indoctrinated watching this 24-hour news constantly. Drive me nuts. Is that a scratch? Oh my god, I can scratch that lens. That's great. Great. All that money I paid for these. Hardly wore them. Big old scratch in them. All I want to do is watch a little TV. Labels out, at least I got that going for me. Oh, that's a fine malt liquor. I'm so glad my lips are working. My lips are sealed around the end of the bottle. Graciously chug my finest of malt liquors. <sighs> and not dribble down my chin either. <clears throat> Just not. I 
I gotta turn that off. So it turns that on, but it doesn't turn this TV on. <sighs> That's bullshit. This is complete bullshit. I come home from work all day. All I want to do is watch a little TV. My little dog. favorite ASMR videos 1080p on the big screen as I can get this thing working <laughs> I just saw Rapunzel ASMR made a new video it's crap oh no wait was that visual sounds one she made a video too something about being a tweaker not a tweaker. What is that called? TikToker. I don't know what the hell a TikToker is. She knows more than me. I know it's a good video. TikTok, TikTok. That's like the clock on the wall. It's going off. And I can't get anything done. Because this damn remote won't work. It's a bunch of bullcrap. My eyes all sore. Let's see, glasses. TV's not working. Kind of worked there for a second. <clears throat> Calm down. Deep breath. Oh, oh, that's some good malt liquor. Oh, that's some good morning. not much point to this exercise unless I get this remote working but it's still nice to know that the malt liquor is cold and my tummy is happy 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 tummy mmm Not so bad. Getting there. <clears throat> <clears throat> Why does it keep turning that on? I'm going to have to take the batteries out of this so it doesn't go unplug that. I just want to watch. Season 3, no, Season 2 of The Boys. I got a binge watch. Season 1. That's a gory show. The Boys. Just mean the boys. Here. I'll turn that off. So that's, okay, well let's lay that right there. Okay, then that won't work no more. I didn't want to turn that on. And then we're gonna, I gotta watch Cobra Kai, season one and two of Cobra Kai, Cobra Kai, Cobra Kai, Cobra Kai, Cobra Kai, of course in Cobra Kai, Johnny, what's his name, Johnny Lawrence, Ralph Macchio, and he plays some part, what's his part, then Johnny Lawrence is the actual, the new karate kid from Cobra Kai, Cobra Kai, <clears throat> and uh, Johnny Lawrence, he, um, you know, Allie ran out on him, it 
which is really his true love. And she dated Daniel LaRusso. You know, he had Ralph Macchio, and they changed his name to Daniel LaRusso. You know. And then, uh, I can't figure this out. That's bullcrap. That's such a bullcrap. I don't know. Who would win a fight? In a real fight. Like, they were in the ring, and Danny. What was his name? Yeah, Danny LaRusso. Well, whatever. Daniel LaRusso, whatever. The karate kid. And then he invented rock and roll. He was in Crossroads. And My Cousin Vinny. That was a good movie. I could settle for My Cousin Vinny if I could get this thing to work for Pete's sake. Crap. Oh, you are my remote. But you don't like me, and you won't work, and you ruined my evening. The only thing I got going for me is this ice cold beverage of cold 45 malt liquor. Malt liquor. Something's working for me. Yeah. 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 I don't know. What's, which one's the best one? Oh, wait. There it is. I got it off 24 hour news. What's coming on after a commercial? Oh, man. Disney Channel. Bull, that's <laughs> it's like Godzilla, man. And then you have this godforsaken pandemic, and I'm never gonna get to see Wonder Woman '84. I'm never going to get to see King Kong versus Godzilla. Or is it Godzilla versus King Kong? Thank God I got my flannel napkin. Well, it's not a napkin, it's a hanky. Do you want me to show you how to flute a hanky? Watch. Because this remote ain't working with this shit. Okay, you lay the hanky down and you grab it in the middle like that. See? See, it's like a tent. Then you and you fold it over, like so, and then you flute it and stick it in your pocket. And then, see, now you're like a, a gentleman. Then if you need the handkerchief, you just pull it out of your pocket and go, Here, my lady, have a flannel, uh, flannel handkerchief for your, to wipe your tears away, because they had to cancel the cotillion over the COVID's 19 and everything sucks right now so you don't get to wear your fancy hat at the Kentucky Derby but at least you is still alive long live the south you know and then they always make jokes about see flute it see how quickly I fluted that it don't look that look at how complex that is Look. Look, see. Watch, I'll show you again. Watch. You just hold it like it. Grab it in the middle. And flute it. Like that. See, look. Isn't that pretty? It goes right in your pocket. Just like that, see? <laughs> oh, 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 okay, 
they're going to have WKRP on later. Is that TV land? I could do a TV land. They're going to have a WKRP Cincinnati. <laughs> Oh, I was never a Partridge Family guy. I could do with some Brady Bunch though right now. <coughs> Jan. Jan was the original Karen. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Of course, I had an Aunt Marsha. Yeah, she was a nightmare. My Aunt Marsha, she had this wagon on her. And boy, that woman, she just had a temper. And she had that meanness to her too, you know. She was like... She used to look at me like, yeah, when Aunt Marcia used to look at me like, if there were no witnesses, I would kill you, Mike Wow. I would kill you with my bare hands. And then she married my Uncle Jerry, and they screwed their kids' lives up, and now they won't talk to them, so they deserve what they get. We should have a relationship with our grandchildren, but our children hate us. And it's like, really, no kidding. Marsha, 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 Marsha. Like, I feel sorry for her, you know. She was driving that old tractor down the yard, you know. You shut your mouth, Michael Wow. You shut your mouth. And I'm thinking, I just wish that tractor would flip over and crush your chest right where you stand, you old bag old bag of wind you know it's like and I know there's somebody you you and you I didn't watch this ASMR video to hear you talk about your aunt getting crushed by a tractor and I'm like well you didn't have to put up with my aunt cussing me out from that tractor mofo you hear what I'm saying you hear what I'm saying so you gotta like you know take it take it from the from the expert here. You know like my my aunt Marcia's like I don't mind wearing a safety belt. She puts a hand on her hip, you know. I don't know why they gotta legislate our rights to us. I don't think I have to wear a safe belt. I'll wear it, but I shouldn't have to be mandated to wear it. And if I have to, you know, they're gonna, next thing you know, they're going to be tattooing the mark of the beast on my forehead because they made me wear a safety belt to keep me from my big fat fucking head from going right through the fucking windshield. And it's like, you know, I think you're and this, this, you're gonna like this one. I think you're a hundred percent correct, Aunt Marcia. You should never wear that safety belt. Don't you let them tell you what to do. I mean, I think you know, live free, die free. You know, don't put it on. And you should just go down the road as fast as you can. And then her husband, he's a real trip. He's a pill. You know, he'd be going like 35 miles an hour down the road. This is an Ohio thing. Okay. I'm not making this up. This is an Ohio thing. Maybe they do it other places, but I know they do it in Ohio, for God's sake. You're driving down the road. You know, it's 55 mile an hour state route. You're going down the road, you know, 55. Safety belt on, you know, because you're a responsible citizen that has common sense. And you come up on this car. It's going like uh, 35 miles an hour. And you're like... Come on, dude, like, get with it. So you follow him for a couple of miles, and you're like, oh, God, man, I'm going to die old age before I get around this guy. So then you get to the passing lane. You're in a passing lane, and you go out to pass him. Now, if you were passing my uncle, oh, no, the original road rage. As soon as you got up beside him, he downshifted and floored it. And he would try to purposefully run you into oncoming traffic. And you'd be going, you'd be like, back off, man, back off. I'm gonna, I got, whoa, what the hell, dude? 
you know, now you're going 75 miles an hour. I'm back off. <laughs> no, you're getting what you deserve. You pass me. I kid you not. So, uh, I'm driving down the road. And I, he told us the story. I'm like, I think he's like something wrong with him, you know? But then I thought about it. And if I was married to Marsha, 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 I would have like a death wish too when I was behind the wheel. I'd be going 100 miles an hour with no safety belt on, just like, you know, hands out, you know, on the wheel. Just like, take me, Jesus, take me, take me now. You know, he probably, every time he passes a, a telephone pole, he's probably looking at it going, do you think that one would snap off? Do you think that one would snap off? Mm, you know, like, look at that tree in that guy's front yard. Do you think it would take a hit? Do you think it would stop me? Mm. You know, it's like, you know, it's not like he's wishing for any bad things to happen. But, you know, if it happens, it happens. <laughs> and then I remember when he was going to leave her one time. He was going to leave this sorry sack of shit. And uh, he finally woke up. You know, he come out of his coma, 20-something years in a coma with this... It's the sea hag that come with the waterbed. And he's like sitting there, you know, I know, I know some of you are out there. You, you, I didn't watch this ASMR video to hear somebody call a woman a sea hag that come with the waterbed. And I'm like, well, you didn't have to put up with my aunt Marsha, Marsha, Marsha for 20 years of my life, you know, until I finally said I can't take it anymore. You know, I'd rather live free or die hard. Or something like that, whatever the movie title is. So I'm sitting there. <clears throat> this is a good one. So he's gonna leave her. He finally got out of a coma. He woke up one day. Oh my god, I'm I'm for God's sakes, I'm married to Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. My life has no meaning. <sighs> there is no God. And he like ran out of the house in his underwear, jumped in his truck and tried to leave her. He's like, I'm out of here. That's it. The straw that broke the camel's back. No more uh, Rosie O'Donnell for me, baby. I'm out of here. You know what's sad about finishing a 40 is when you don't have a second one to start on. So anyway... He's going to leave the the old sea hag. And uh, <laughs> the rumor is she laid down behind the tires. She laid right down on the ground behind the truck. You're not going anywhere. You had to kill me first. And then the neighbors were come out and they saw the whole thing. And they're like, kill her. Just please kill her. But being a good Christian and all. He acquiesced to her demands. And he went back in. And he sat down in front of Rosie O'Donnell and took his remote. and His worked. He clicked it and went, Oh, fuck it. And he's still there to this day. Of course, they, they lost what they lost that house. They lost another house. Then they ended up in a, a trailer somewhere. And my brother's sitting there telling me, Yeah, they had a few choice words for you. Boy, they like to talk about you. They said some things about you. And I'm like, hmm, okay. Surprise! I am Terror the Wahoo. And now you know the rest of the story. So, you can talk about me all you want, but... I might talk about you. So next time you decide to badmouth me to my brother, just remember that all things are equal. Yin and yang. Black and white. Good and evil. But this remote is just... This is just whacked. I'll put it on the train tracks. Just let the train run it over. I might get more use out of it.
So I hope you guys like my story. That was a good one. Well, I thought it was funny anyway. But there's just always been something, this fine line, you know, you watch when you're a little boy, like back in the 70s, because I'm an old, old fart, you know, I'm ready to die. And uh, you'd be watching like uh, Old Little Rascals and Partridge Family and Hogan's Heroes and Bewitched. Oh, Bewitched, boy. I was a bewitched guy. I was not a uh, I Dream of Genie guy. I like Genie, but the Major Nelson was like, you know, <laughs> just, you know, and the whole thing where his buddy was always trying to screw him over and get the girl. It just was annoying. But I liked Darren. I related to Darren, and I didn't understand why until I got older. Uh, that's a story for another video why I like bewitched. But I always thought Elizabeth Montgomery, oh, she was wicked, wicked little girl. Yeah, yeah, she needed daddy to give her a spanking, a little spanking, just a little, you know, you know. And I know you're out there right now, you, <laughs> and that's the one back in there, right there, going, I didn't watch this ASMR video, she's only talking about spanking Elizabeth Montgomery's behind. And once again, you didn't have to put up with Marsha, Marsha, Marsha for 20 freaking years. So, there's that. I remember she used to cut a birthday cake. It was great. She'd take the knife and go, Oh, birthday cake. Everybody get out of my way. Oh, Marsha's going to cut that cake. I'm going to show you how to cut that cake for Grandma. Everybody get out of the way. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, we're going to get some cake. My grandmother looked like she had this look on her face. I remember old Leona. Leona Graffis. I remember her just standing there looking. She's just looking like, oh, my God, this is as good as my life's ever going to get. My grandmother. Like, I was a little boy, and I remember looking at her like, my grandmother's miserable. She's miserable. She really is miserable watching her. Slop that cake up. And she'd take that knife. Let me see if I got something to s simulate the action. We'll use the remote. She'd cut the cake, right? And she'd go, oh, I just love that cake. Oh, turn the knife over, you know. <laughs> Here, here's a piece for you. Here's a piece for you. And everybody's like, she'd hand the cake to you. And you'd be like, oh, oh saliva cake. Okay, no, that's all right. I'm on a diet. Oh, Grandma, that's some good cake. Throw that in the trash. Love you, Grandma. Here's a card with some, yeah, money in it. Buy some drugs. Make yourself happy after Marsha, Marsha, Marsha leaves. But, you know, what are you going to do? I don't know. Life sucks. Everybody has that. Uh, I mean, I wish I could get this remote to work. Everybody has that nasty relative, that nasty neighbor, that they just, you know, they don't wish ill on them. Like, they don't want their head to explode. But, like, if they were walking up the driveway and their head exploded, you know, and they just fell down, you know, just drop dead right there, they would just, you know, go back to watching TV, you know, that's, hey, shit happens, you know, just, what are you gonna do, call the, uh, call the EMTs for a clean up on aisle, my driveway, something, I don't know, yeah, I don't know, what do you want me to do, I don't make the rules up, I'm just the guy trying to get this remote to work, and it's not being my friend. And my dog had a heart attack and <sighs> Buster's okay. He's he's my little buddy. I made a friend this week. I made two friends. I made two friends. I want everybody to know. And uh, I touched base with an old friend and they were happy to hear from me. So I'm doing great. How are you doing? Let me know in the uh, comments below. 
If you have any suggestions for future videos, let me know in the, yeah, like below that if you like, uh, have any suggestions for future videos, if you like my Marsha 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 stories, or you want to hear more things about my nasty ass family, or whatever, I don't, I don't care. I give up. Yeah, I really do. I give up. You, you go through life, and all you want to do after a hard day of work is come home and watch maybe, you know, 25, 30 minutes of The Office or an old WKRP, and you, you know, and we're all liars. We all check out Lonnie Anderson and go, oh, 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 oh. she was just so beautiful. But we all want to date Bailey. It's it's just part of life, you know. <sighs> Bailey was so cute. Like, you want to marry Bailey, but you just want to go out one time with uh, Lonnie Anderson, you know. And then Burt Reynolds marries her, and it's like, Ew. greasy. And then, you know, Lonnie, you blew it. Like, you, you, you blew it. You blew it. You know, it's just like... I don't think she blew it either. I think she was too much of a lady for that. But uh, just the idea of like, you know, greasy ass Burt Reynolds, you know, I'm a, I'm a movie star back in 1973. Get out of my way. And I kind of can relate to Burt, you know. I don't know why, but maybe there's a little bit of Burt in you know, all of us. I, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. I give up on life, really. I I raised my kids. Uh, I've been a good husband for 30 years. Uh, I took them to Disney World. You know, what do you want? You know, really, when it comes down to it, what do, you, what do you want? You know, I kept my kids away from my Aunt Marcia their whole life. And, you know, I, I, my kid's like, you're the worst father in the world. Or, I hate you. My buddy Phil Sabatino would love to hear that. I hate you. And I'm like, you know, you don't have anything to compare me to, you little bastard. Because, like, I kept you away from the scuzz bags in my family. The least you could do is give me some credit for that, for Pete's sake. I mean, at least I protected you. Growing up, you didn't get to live in hell kicked out of you by Aunt Marcia. She used to beat the hell out of her kids. We'd go to her house and her kids would all be laying on the floor crying. And husband would be all pissed off. And we're sitting there like, me and cousin Jimmy are sitting there like going, oh shit. Something went down. Just don't make any eye contact. <laughs> don't make any eye contact. You're going to get your ass kicked. Oh lord, I just hope they're more afraid of my old man than they are of going to jail. I don't know. It's pretty bad. You know? It's just it's just wicked shit. I mean, you know the stuff we went through back in the day. And you sit there and you think how many times you came this close to death, you know? At the hands of a, a relative and you watch these true crime stories where people get, you know, murdered, raped or thrown in a ditch somewhere. And you're thinking, oh man, I I know for sure I came that close, that close, a couple times. You know, that big, big mouth of mine, you know, hey, Marcia, <laughs> you know, and it's like, I thought I was funny because I could outrun her, but I used to have nightmares that, you know, I'd fall down, you know, you know, I'd trip and fall like in a horror movie, and then she would sit on me with that big carcass of hers, she'd, you know sit on my face and it'd be like I'd suffocate, you know, in the in the fat rolls and I'd be like laying there going like you know like, oh I ain't gonna make it. Like, oh God, save me. Okay, I believe, I believe, I believe, just get her off my face. You know, and just think about that for a minute, you know, and she's sitting on your face going like, You're getting it now. That's what I think of you. Pow, pow, pow. You know, you know, letting it rip. God, it's time for me to go to bed. Okay, all right, so. I love you, I love all of you.
And remember, I am your friend, Dr. Andrew Michaels, and I'll always be here to help you. And I really do care about all of you, and you're so precious to me. And I just wish you the best, and I hope you have a really wonderful rest of your summer. Labor Day is coming up, and I think we can all be responsible enough to wear our masks and stay safe and maybe go do some picnics or uh, maybe even go to the lake, the beach, see the tide come in. Be nice. And be nice to each other. Don't be like me and be vindictive and evil and, you know, and spiteful. But if you are, always remember what Dr. Andrew Michael says. If you're going to do something, do it right. Do it righteous, brothers and sisters. Do it righteous. Hallelujah. And the truth shall set you free. Until I see all of you again, please have a most blessed day. Love you.